Hey, welcome back. For this video, I want to do an overview and a bit of an unboxing of what I think are the three tiers of Olympic collars, and that's based on price. But before I get to that point, I want to do a shout out in honor of my 100th subscriber. I want to do a shout out to my first subscriber, Tommy. So this one's for you, Tommy. Uh, when I got my first subscriber, I was so excited because I didn't tell anybody about my YouTube channel. So it was just some random person on the internet that said, hey, I'll watch what this guy's got to say. And I was really excited, jumping around, shouting, um, and telling my friend all about it. Now, I would shout out my 100th subscriber, but if you keep your subscriptions private, I actually don't know who you are. But I want to say I appreciate every single one of you, and let's get to it. We'll start with your lower end tier. So these are just generic knockoffs you'd get on Amazon for about $15 shipped. Um, from there, you'd go up to Lock Jaws. These are the Ollie 2s. Now, Ollie 2s and the Pro 2s, there's not really too much difference except the Pro 2 uh, has this little locking collar and they're magnetized, but they have the same the same uh, holding power. And these are about $35 shipped. If you get the Pros, they're a little more expensive. And that brings us to the highest tier, which debatably the lock jaws are, are just as good depending on your preference. And this is the Rogue Aluminum Collars. So for the Rogue Aluminums, obviously made of aluminum, who would have thought? And a, a gorgeous collar. Um, they're going to cost you about $50 before shipping and tax, so about $60. And if you go to the Cerakote where you can get different colors, that's going to be even more. Uh, I want to say those are $65 plus another $10, so about $75. So based on price, those are the three tiers. So in our lowest tier, like I said, we have these knockoff Amazons, and they're a generic knockoff of a lock jaw. You're not going to have the same quality, obviously, but for $15, um, I've used these for months and haven't had issues. They're about two inches uh, thick just like the lock jaws. And if we weigh them up, I wanna say, and these are two different companies, which really means they're the same company in the same factory probably in China. And they weigh just under three quarters of a pound. They're not quite identical. They are made out of an ABS plastic. So we're all familiar with ABS plastic, especially if you've ever stepped on a Lego, you know what that is capable of. Uh, ABS has a good rigidity, meaning it's not gonna deform and it's very impact resistant. It's capable of what it's supposed to do, and that is it's not gonna break under normal use. So these have two pads, two rubber pads uh, in the middle, again, just like the lock jaws, and that's what's gonna clamp onto your bar to hold the weight in place. And then as they clamp down, um, they're not supposed to pop up unless you pop this little pin. But again, for $15 on Amazon, they're not gonna work quite as well as a lock jaw. Over the course of probably nine months using these with a group of about five people four times a week, uh, I haven't had any issues with these. If you're doing a lot of Olympic lifts or a lot of stuff where you're throwing weight around, they will slide a little bit. They do slide in deadlift when I would say I get into the threes, 315 plus. The lock jaws are what your generic Amazon ones are trying to copy. So you're gonna have a very similar design because it's the copycat but these are the originals. So you're still gonna have your tab, you're gonna have two elastomer pads, rather than I believe these are probably rubber, and you're gonna have a resin frame. Now, what that resin is, it could still be ABS, I'm not entirely sure, and they don't say, but these feel a lot more durable and better made than your knockoffs. They're still two inches wide, and they're going to weigh a little under a pound, so they're gonna be a little heavier than your generic knockoffs. Now I'm putting these in the second tier, not to say that they're less than the Rogues, and this is just based on price. These are around $35, $40 versus $60. And there are other collars in all these ranges. These are literally the same thing as the Rogue HG 2.0s. The Rogue's just basically copying this design. And they also come with a one-year warranty. Our highest tier is these Rogue USA Aluminums. Made from an advanced aircraft grade 6061 billet aluminum, CNC machined in the USA and laser etched with Rogue branding. So again, I'm basing that tier on price. These cost about $50 before you ship them uh, and pay the tax, so it's about 60 bucks. And if you get the Cerakote version, which is where you can get a different finish and you can get those cool colors on there, those are $65 plus about another $10. It's $75, uh, you know, that, that's a lot more expensive. You're basically doubling uh, what the lock jaws are gonna cost. So these are uh, made in the United States out of CNC aluminum. So the production quality of these is much higher than anything else you're going to get. So these are actually an OSO design, OSO, but Rogue bought OSO. So what they did is they kind of upgraded and made these a little bit lighter than the OSO versions. 
And these weigh just about a half a pound. These, this pair is actually slightly over half a pound. In these, you're gonna have a rubber lining going along almost the entire collar versus the elastomer pad, which you're gonna have two pads, one on each side. That's gonna give you more contact surface area, which is what gives these such an incredible grip strength. The silver version comes with a clear anodized hard finish, but again, you can get the Cerakote versions as well. And these have what I would call an aggressive spring lever. And what I mean by that is these things really pop up, right? So when you have these on the bar, under tension, that lever flies up. And if it smashes your fingers, man, you will feel it. And it does take some effort to clamp it down because of how tight that tolerance is. But these are not gonna go anywhere once they're clamped on. Now that I'm YouTube famous, I hired this idiot to do my lifts for me. So he's gonna do some deadlifts and maybe some other stuff to see how well each collar holds out. Good luck, buddy. We'll start with the generic Amazons. It's only 225 right now, but they're iron plates, no bumpers, so it should reverberate. We'll see if they move. So not too bad, a little bit of wiggle there, but again, that's not a ton of weight. So since the Amazons were starting to slip at 225 on 10 reps, I thought I'd bump it up to 315 for the lock jaws. I gotta say, I forgot to film at first, so I'm getting a little tired. You can see these moved a little bit. Not a ton, but actually more than I thought they would. All right, he's on the last set. He's got the robes on there. I bet you he's wishing he did this on a day he didn't already work out. Not very smart, buddy. Still going over there? Oh, yeah. Not really much movement. If it slipped at all, Debatable. Easily, easily the winner. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And in the comments, give me suggestions of what you want to see. I got plenty of ideas, but if you could do the work for me, that'd be great. This guy ain't doing anything.